Hello folks and welcome back to the Matt Vid Pro AI YouTube channel. I wanted to open up this video talking about what you're looking at right now, my Discord server. Of course, in every single one of my videos, I have the link to this Discord server down below. You can join it. The reason I want to talk about it is I recently did a little revamp, rework on this server. So I'd like to show you people who aren't in the Discord server what it could possibly offer you. Personally, I'm a huge advocate of completely free resources. So everything in my Discord server is completely free. I don't have a Patreon or anything like that where you have to unlock secret resources or channels or roles or whatever. Everything is completely free. You have access to everything. If you got your basics, such as general chat, which is always popping off, honestly, in this Discord server, you guys have a great general chat. My favorite channel, though, of them all, the latest AI news lease channel here. So this basically is a channel all about the latest and greatest in AI. And when I say in a video, follow my Discord server for the latest AI news and all that, this is where you are going to see that, is this Discord channel. We get like a good five different posts in this channel a day all about AI news. It's really, really cool. And I get a lot of really interesting stuff from this. So I recommend you join the Discord server just to check this out every once in a while and see if you see anything you like. I've also got video ideas. You'll often see some really cool little concepts in here as well. Stuff that people want me to make videos of. Pretty much everything that I get sent to me in this channel would make a, for a good video. However, I can't make a video about all of it, which is really upsetting. I wish I could. But sometimes you'll find really cool little projects in this video idea section as well as the latest AI news section. Of course, you've got your AI generation channels. So this is where you want to show off your different AI generated works. We have different bots here that you can generate with. So we've got this main stable diffusion bot that people use quite a lot, as well as the mid journey bot in here. And we used to have Dolly 2 bots, but those might be coming back. We don't know. So there actually are free generation methods right here in the Discord. And if you don't have access to like Midjourney or something, you can always submit a prompt request here. This is a new channel that I've just recently added into the Discord. This is where you, I think, will get a lot of really great free access to different little AIs if you're interested in that. Separate channel, all just about free AI access. So if you just go to pinned messages, you'll be able to scroll through these and just see a bunch of pinned free AI. I think that's a really good resource for you, people who don't necessarily have the cash to just go blow on Midjourney or something like that, or Dolly too, and you wanna access some interesting free AI websites. We've also got general discussion for a few different popular AI websites that I've talked about on the channel lately. And then you've got your meme channels, voice channels, stuff like that. So yes, everyone just wanted to mention that I think this Discord server is a really great resource so today, folks, we're going to be talking about this website known as Neural.Love. Someone added this onto my large AI links list, and it's actually a really awesome AI-powered website. As you can see, online image, online video restoration, they have a lot of different stuff on this website that you can mess around with. No installation or powerful computer required. So enhance your video or images here, which is really interesting. You can just dump stuff right in here to be enhanced. All files are stored in privately encrypted. That's, that's good to see. I've actually noticed a lot of people lately are worried about safety, especially with like the voice AI video I made recently. A lot of people are worried about that company not really being the best with your personal information or others' information. Well, they've also got this free art generator, but I'm going to try out this upscaler or enhancer, quote unquote, first. We're going to try it with some of the mid-journey generations I've been doing as of late. If you guys didn't see it, yesterday I made a YouTube short talking about mid-journey and this method I've been doing to generate lots of images. We'll see how good their built-in upscaler is here. I'm going to mess around with a quad mid-journey generation. It's just the raw mid-journey. So it would look like this, for example. We'll drop that right in here and we'll see how it upscales it. And they show you their little comparison here that I guess it does a really good job upscaling. And apparently it's already done. We can use the quality enhance 4x model. So this will make the image four times the size. I suppose we'll just pick this default model. And they've also got colorization and photo restoration, facial restoration. Wow, this is crazy. Okay, so the image generation is free, but this apparently does actually cost credits. Oh, we do have free credits. We get five free credits. Oh, and there you go. Okay, so you get five free credits when you sign up, and then they want you to pay 30 bucks or $57. Yeah, okay, they have 
pricing subscriptions. Again, I'm not going to read all these out and explain them. You guys can see the benefits to each, but I don't know. It's kind of expensive. At least the image generation is free. All right, so this one has been upscaled. Again, this was a mid-journey generation. And how did it do? I actually did pretty decently upscaling everything, I think. It's definitely not too bad. I wouldn't say it's any better, really, than the base mid-journey upscaler or some of the free, even free upscalers that I've seen. So, you know, it's definitely good and all that. I mean, this might not be the best use case to demonstrate. It does add, look like it adds a lot of really nice texture and detail into this. So it really could be good for some use cases. However, personally, you know, it's it's looking like this is pretty expensive. If you got money to blow, maybe it could be useful. But for me personally, this looks really expensive. I'm interested in the AI art generator. It's interesting, they also have video enhancement as well, which looks like it works pretty decently too, I have to say. A lot of these companies have been getting into video upscaling, not just image upscaling, such as Gigapixel has their own video upscaler, and AVC Labs, which I covered, also has an upscaler as well, and apparently they can transform video into 60 FPS as well, and they got facial restoration in case you get your focus wrong in your video. Okay, pretty cool. They've also got audio enhancement, enhance and upscale audio, improve audio quality without installing any additional software, try it for free. And they've got a little tester here that we can listen to. Okay, this is going to be with the AI off, so this is the poor quality. And they're going with music here. doesn't even really sound that bad to be honest. Let's turn the AI on instead and re-listen. Yeah, it's quite a bit higher quality. Okay, well, for some people with really low audio quality, this might help you out, but they say that it doesn't really help you any further than 48 kilohertz. That's what I actually record on with my microphone, so this wouldn't be of any benefit to me necessarily. The voice enhancement I'm really interested in hearing here. What would the biggest of the 50 states be? Texas. Because if you tried putting Alaska up against Texas, Alaska would melt. Okay, so that's a low quality voice. Let's hear the high quality one. What would the biggest of the 50 states be? Texas. Because if you tried putting Alaska up against Texas, Alaska would melt. Okay, that's pretty good. That's pretty good for audio restoration. I mean, you can still hear a little bit of weirdness, fuzziness in there with the audio, but it completely removed that nice guitar in the background. It completely got rid of it. So that's pretty impressive, pretty nice. And then you can remove vocals too. It's pretty cool stuff they have here. Good technology for sure. You can generate portraits. This is a part of their restoration portrait generator. So if you have like really ancient old photos, you can generate new portraits of that person. Wow. Okay, so free AI generator. Here's the real meat and potatoes, I think, for a lot of you guys. I'm just going to take a wild guess that this is stable diffusion. I mean, what else would it be? But that's not necessarily a bad thing. Stable diffusion is absolutely everywhere and it's good. Apparently there is HD mode here. Is this all free is my question. Can I generate up to 100 steps? Oh no, okay, that costs credits. They, okay, so anything under 50 steps is free, which is good. I think that's actually better than mage.space. HD mode costs a credit. Private results also cost a credit. Okay, 10 images costs two credits. Eight images is one credit. Six images, one credit. How about four? Zero. Okay, so I think four might be free. And you can have randomized seed or input a seed. So that's a nice feature to see here on the image gen. And we've got negative words as well. And we do actually have some basic categories we can choose from. So this is painting. Let's go with anime. Apparently this is anime styled generate for free. And it's generating our art here. And it didn't take a credit away. So we're good there, folks. We, we got this as a free generation, which is good. I like that they have completely free... AI photo generation with stable diffusion. That's really, really nice. A lot of people are looking for that. And yeah, this does seem to actually work really well in the anime art style as well. You can enhance it, remix it, download it. Really competitive features here. And if we just click on this, we can scroll through them. Definitely really, really nice. I think the anime style worked well here. Whatever they're doing behind the scenes to get that anime style out of stable diffusion is working well. They've got steampunk, for example, or fantasy or photo. 
This is a really random prompt. One million lemons inside of the Eiffel Tower. We're going to try it in the photo mode and just generate that. And again, not taking any credit. So this is completely free. Four images, 50 steps. Not bad. I've also got aspect ratios here. This might cost more credits though. Yeah, that does cost credits to do anything that's not a square aspect ratio, but I'm not complaining. And yes, this definitely looks like stable diffusion, but the photographic mode definitely produces photographs. We've got all these lemons. Yeah, right near the Eiffel Tower. I mean, that's, I guess, I guess that's just straight up the Eiffel Tower, but yeah, it's just random lemon Eiffel Tower prompts here to, to mess around with. It works pretty well. That's just good stable diffusion for you guys for completely free on this website. And, you know, besides just this free AI art generator, they've got this, you know, idea browser where you can see all these public images that people have generated thus far, similar to something like Lexica. Lexica has a lot more images, but this one seems to be pretty cool. So, like, let's see, do they have anything lemon related, for example? Oh, okay, interesting. For some reason now it's searching Google, but everything is coming from this site. So it's using Google search to search stuff on this website. So don't be alarmed when this happens. This is all from their website. So it doesn't, yeah, okay, search via Google. Very interesting. It, it doesn't just go through their website, like something like Open Art. It, it goes through Google, but it's all stuff from their website. Simple enough. They've also got API stuff for you developers out there. And yeah, they've they've got a nice little collection of tools, I think, on Neural Love. And it's just a website that I thought was worth sharing with you guys, especially because you do have the completely free image generation built right in. And then some also really nice paid tools as well. I think those tools work pretty well. They're a little bit on the expensive side, you know, with the whole credit system. Not a huge credit guy personally, but I thought I would share this one. Let me know what you guys think, and I'll see you guys in another video. Stay tuned for the end of the week when I do the AI news roundup. I'm going to start doing this thing weekly where I round up all of the best AI news from the week and just share it with you guys in one big video. I think it will be really fun. So stay tuned. Thank you so much for watching, and check out some of my other videos. Goodbye.